Hi, right, this is Tim from Scott Country International. Uh, tonight we're out with the cheater again, and we've got this in the, uh, the clip on formation. You can just see it over there. Got it mounted on my rim fire. Only mounted it on a uh, on a four four to twelve by forty uh, scope. We'll just just see how we get on with this tonight. Cheers. Tim from Scott Country International here. So just going to show you quickly with the Hick Micro Cheetah on how to set it up uh, as a dedicated rifle scope with a mount and the uh, eyepiece that comes with it. So now the unit itself, obviously that's uh, ready for the bayonet fitting. Simply unscrew that. That comes off. Keep hold of that. Don't lose that. Now inside the box, so you get your mount. You get your mounting uh, holes there and your screws on the side of the mount. So that just simply clips on the bottom like that. And with the eyepiece, to dedicate it as a scope. Nip that tight. Now that's the scope set up there, the cheater set up, ready to go on top of a rifle. Obviously still giving you your uh, ocular adjustment there. And then with your focus ring at the front there. And that's it, sat up, just done my little ultra there, ready to go. So the rifle is unloaded as well, no magazine in there. And that's it. And then you can obviously adjust that to wherever you want to get your correct eye relief, but shooting with a tripod anyway, when you're standing, that's no, dra that's no drama's been in that position anyway, so. Now to have this as a uh, clip on for a rifle, onto a dedicated day scope. Obviously, total reverse comes off there. Obviously, mount comes off the bottom. And with this attachment again, that goes on. Now there is some, there's some lugs at the side there and a square at the top. Now in there you can see, obviously the square and the two center ones. But once you're on, Tighten that all back up again, like so. And then, here's one I prepared earlier, with a little scope, obviously with the clip-on attachment on the front there. Now at the top there, you've got uh, two colors there, you've got lock and unlock. And with the bayonet fitting on the side there, you simply line that up and you hear it positively click. So it just slots in like that and you hear that click and that is it that's it set up there ready on a normal day scope I've got it set up yet I'm not yet zeroed this onto my uh, air rifle but this will be the next part of the video that will be coming shortly quick outing with the uh, cheater as a clip on formation tonight so that is a uh, on the rifle there front of my scope mounted on with 22 LR a few rabbits in the bag a few rabbits there, ranging from sort of 30 yards out to 80, 90 yards. So, again, it's performing well, doing what it's meant to do. Uh, the imagery is obviously going to be a lot clearer when um, when you're viewing it back because it's just recording through the device. An additional IR on there tonight. Put the wicked lights on. Uh, and that's booming out there. Done a bit of footage seeing from sort of 140 yards out to 300 up to the farmhouse at 600. So, again, very capable little unit. Great for um, either the three configurations it can go in either a handheld spotter, a dedicated scope, or a clip on to your normal day scope. So, it caters for all markets there, really. Um, again, if everyone seems to be raving about the Alpex, and that is an Alpex Mini, basically, um, which I've been very impressed with so far. So, so far, so good. Uh, I think I'll get it back into uh, the dedicated rifle configuration, get it on a centerfire, uh, 
see how we go on that, see if we can get it on the foxes. The cheetah. So I'm going home now because I'm freezing. It's a lot colder than I thought it was going to be. So uh, we'll see when we see you. And I've lost my hit gloves as well. Devoed. Righto. Cheers.